What did uh, Jay Z once tell you when you brought up starting a record label, and how would that have oh. would that advice have saved you from? Yeah. How about the uh, worst financial decision you ever made, and what you learned from that? I was in the club with, with my in Miami with my my, my, uh, my great late friend. His name was Rasul Butler. And it was it was Rasul's birthday. And so when we go out, we like to drink. You know, we drink a Namo at Rose. And this football player like, sitting like right in front of us. Him and his guy, they drink an Ace of Spades. And he said, Yo, hello, step your game up. We're not my whole manhood. So I told the waiter, I said, Yo, come here. I said, I need a hundred bottles of Moet Rosé. <laughs> but I said, 10, I want you to bring 10 now and then give 10 to these Puerto Rican kids. So now I'm just gonna assassinate his whole look that he got going on. Cause I'm gonna get the kids that he's sitting right next to 10 bottles of Moet Rosé and I'm out to drink with them, <laughs> him. And so that's 20. So I said the next 30, Give him out some 40, 50. And so I got this whole, like, little dark VIP section. That was, like, about, like, 70 bottles. Then I got to, like, the 80 bottle. I told him to hand them out in the crowd. Then bring the last 20 right back here. <laughs> That's probably my worst. How much did that cost? Probably, like, 120K. And that was all done. <laughs> but I mean, I, I did it. I, no, I did it for pride. and. For foolish pride, I guess that was. What advice would you give, you know, if you were starting your NBA career over, what financial advice um, would well, I give the Lamar, Lamar Odom, Odom of today give the Lamar Odom just entering the league? No should be your favorite word. Because if you tell somebody no, then you're really going to realize how they really feel about you. Or if your relationship got room to grow, or it can grow at all. Because if you tell somebody, you know, yes, 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 they become self, you know, depending on you. They ain't gonna know how to take a no. And you gotta really stand firm on your no. And when it comes to money and savings now, what's Same your view thing. on it? Same thing. The answer is no. What did uh, Jay-Z once tell you when you brought up starting a record label, and how would that have would um, that advice have saved you from? Yeah, he uh, was like, um, nah, he was like, nah, son. you want to be like magic. And you going this way, you want to go that way, you going that way. He said, I'm going to real estate. And, and you thought he was d no, discouraging thought, you because he no, didn't I mean, win competition? I, yeah, the rapper that I had was, was so gifted. But I, I was foolish then, I couldn't really get to see that he was trying to just help a young man out. If you, and if you had taken Jay-Z's advice, how much would that have saved you? Mm, probably a couple million dollars. A couple million dollars? Mm -hmm.